I'm not sure why more people haven't seen this movie. It's perfect. Not only does it have a bumping Christmas soundtrack, including my personal favorite, but it also has child murder. I love child murder in movies because for so long, it was an unspoken rule not to kill the children. So now, when they do kill the children, it comes as a massive shock. I love it. Welcome to Rotten Damien's, the channel where we review movies and discuss potential film theories. Today we are reviewing Silent Night. The movie is about a group of friends who arranged to spend their last Christmas together. At midnight, the Russians would drop poisonous gas on the UK, killing everyone. The group planned on taking a suicide pole together, rather than dying a slow and agonizing death from the gas. Okay, into the movie. In Act 1, we are introduced to the group, starting with Noel. She's kind of annoying and a typical suburban housewife. Next up, almost as if taken straight out of a rocky training montage, we have her husband, Simon. He's cool. <laughs> that potty mouth is Art, our protagonist. Art also has two twin brothers who don't really do or say much. The three brothers are Noel and Simon's children. Alex is an alcoholic who loves Christmas, whilst Bella is a pessimistic grinch. Bella is my personal favorite character. She has a very dark and sarcastic sense of humor. Alex continually gets disappointed by the family. It's quite funny. Santa. You like Fanta, darling? Do I? Next, Tony and Sandra. They have a very unstable marriage. Sandra is kind of a bitch, and Tony is a nice guy in the worst possible way. Kitty is the daughter who also doesn't do or say much. Lastly, we have James and Sophie. Sophie, the nepotism baby, is Lily Rose Depp, Johnny Depp's daughter. She's also hated by the family. If James told me you won't think I'm anorexic. James is a doctor. That's the major events driving Act 1, so let's do a quick fire with the remainder of the act. Kitty takes off to her mom and demands sticky toffee pudding, forcing Simon and Tony to rob the local convenience store. Noah is worried there are not enough potatoes. Bella eats Art's bloody carrot because why not? Santa calls Art an arsehole. He just called me an arsehole. James and Sophie bicker about something and Alex doesn't get to play Trivial Pursuit. Oh, we not? This act introduces the actual problem slash antagonist of the movie. It's the fact that Bella keeps stealing potatoes. Just kidding. <laughs> Kitty reveals to us that at midnight, the Russians will be gassing the UK. Remember, up to this point, we did not know that there was anything deadly about this Christmas. Kitty makes a joke that the Queen is not important because she is old and therefore deserves to die. Sophie feels the need to educate Kitty about manners. I guess she'll use those manners in heaven. Simon attempts to break the ice because he wants a drama-free last meal. <laughs> the moms form a meeting to comfort the children and explain why the suicide pill is the best choice. This has the opposite effect on Art and he begins to contemplate not taking the pill. While the women and children meet, the men meet in the back and share a spliff. James tells us that Sophie is not going to take the pill because she's pregnant and doesn't want to murder the baby. Sounds like she's anti-choice. Kitty refuses to give her mother a hug because apparently she wears the pants in the family. Art is outraged because he thinks she should love her mom considering she's about to die. Art, the nice guy, speaks to his father about the unfairness regarding the suicide pills. The pills are not given to the homeless and to immigrants. Art wants to give the pills to the less fortunate. The movie has a strong political undertone, which we'll discuss later. This act is super spicy, so for those of you who love drama, listen up. Alex, the recovering alcoholic, cannot stand the thought of drinking another Fanta, so she decides to quench her thirst with a bottle of wine. Her family again disappoint her because nobody wants to play Scrabble. Anyone want to play Scrabble with me? Sandra wants to sleep with James, which obviously offends her husband. However, Tony, her husband, had slept with Bella because she needed to try shaking a bloke. I guess Tony and Sandra do deserve each other. James also wanted to hook up with Sandra when they were younger, but because Sandra was having an affair with her teacher, he decided against it. Probably a good move. Bella encourages the affair because they're going to die anyway. Fuck you, best friends. Ultimately, they all decide to forgive each other and engage in a group hug, which, surprise surprise, Alex is left out of. Alex drinks a little too much wine and passes out. I honestly feel quite bad for her. Not only did she relapse, but she literally slept away the last minutes of her life. During this act, there's also a super sad scene where Noel's mother takes the suicide pill. The movie had to bring some realism into the story, since we haven't actually seen any true horrors or death yet. Simon has to tell his wife that she cannot grieve right now because her family need her. 
It's a really good scene. It's quite, uh, it's quite heartbreaking. I recommend you check it out. This act is filled with tons of humor. However, it also brings the movie to a dark place and we are forced to encounter the true realities of the situation. The true plot develops in the background where we see Art decide to not take the pill. To help Art decide, he consults James the doctor. He expresses his concerns that the government could be wrong and that the gas may not actually kill them. We then get a quick comical relief with a dance scene before Art's mom finds him discussing the pill with Sophie. Art tells his mom he isn't going to take the pill so they have a quick family discussion in the car. Noel tells him that he needs to take the pill because the entire family is taking it. So if he does not take it, he will die a slow, painful death alone. Noel does not like Sophie because she believes Sophie encouraged Art to not take the pill. Art, the true hero he is, says he doesn't care about dying alone and runs away. Simon chases after him until they come across a parked car bumping some awesome Christmas bangers. Inside the car, we see an entire family, including a baby. Who have taken the suicide pills. It's quite sad. Simon is unfortunately too slow to snatch Art and Art is engulfed in the poisonous gas. Also, let's just take a moment to recognize how awesome of an actor this kid is. Just listen to the scream. Art's family do not know that he has inhaled the gas, so they lay him in his room thinking he is upset from seeing the dead family. Just as Noel had said earlier, Art dies a slow and agonizing death alone. Her hatred from Sophie blinds her from the fact that Art is busy dying, and rather than being with her boy, she argues with Sophie. The final act. The clock passes midnight, and the family say their last goodbyes before going their separate ways. In a last attempt at humor to contrast the seriousness of the situation, the twins send their father on three separate trips before taking their suicide pill. First, because they refuse to share cokes. Second, because there's no ice in the coke. And lastly, because for some reason, the twins need an equal amount of coke before they can swallow their suicide pill. Eventually, Noel turns Art over. In an attempt to not land up like Art, they quickly swallow their suicide pills and lay down and cuddle as a family. It's very heartwarming. Kitty actually loves her parents and lays down between them to close her eyes and never open them again. Sophie decides to take the pill along with James. Good choice. Alex, the recovering alcoholic, is still passed out. So Bella takes her suicide pill and shoves Alex's into her mouth. She cuddles Alex and waits to die until Alex pukes up her pill. Bella, the quick thinker, takes Alex to the kitchen to show off her awesome dance skills, but it's just a ruse to stab her with a knife. I guess it's way more merciful to die a slow and agonizing death from a knife wound instead of a slow and agonizing death from the gas. I don't know, I would personally take the gas. The next morning, we get a creepy view of all the dead families, and in the last seconds of the film, Art opens his eyes. He was right, the gas isn't fatal. It's such an awesome movie. I also love the background music in this last scene. Have a listen. I give the movie a solid 8 Rotten Damians out of 10. It scores an 8 because it's got an awesome soundtrack. Credit to Lorne Balfi. I might have butchered the pronunciation but I'll put it up on the screen. It's got child murder and it's got sarcastic UK humor. I also love how during the movie, the cast continually try their best to act normal, but there's always this underlying tension due to their impending doom. There is also certain scenes where the actors drop their facade and the realism of the situation hits them, like when Noel's mom dies or when Simon ventures outside. The contrast between the seriousness and the humor is also very well done. Lastly, the movie scores an 8 because it has you continually guessing, would I take the pill? So now, I'm asking you, would you take the pill? I probably would because I would want to die on my own terms, but let me know what you guys would do in the comments down below. The deeper meaning of the movie is about climate change and privilege. We see the undertones of privilege when only the upper class and actual citizens, not immigrants, can receive the pill. Throughout the movie, Art expresses how they should be doing something to help the unprivileged. The fact that Art is the protagonist was a directorial decision by Camille Griffin. She wanted to hint at how everyone always places pressure on the younger generation 
fix the mistakes of the past. Hence, Art survives and is surrounded by all the dead adults. He now has to clean up their mess. This idea was taken from Caution Spoiler. If you want to read more about it, it will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon.